So this is my video review on the Xbox One X. Uh, we're going to start off with what you actually get inside the box. So in the box, uh, open it up. you'll be meeted with this uh, bit of packaging. And inside there's the trial for the Game Pass, the live Xbox Live Gold membership, and the instruction manual. So the actual parts included inside this um, is the Xbox itself, as you can see there, uh, the controller, the HDMI lead, and the PAL cable. Uh, now let's just take a look at the packaging itself. Um, so in comparison to the Xbox, uh, we can see that it's quite a bit bigger. Um, Side angle as well. It's about double the size, maybe. Um, it's this one thing which I would improve about this packaging is that there is no handle to carry it. So if you're gonna carry it in one hand, maybe, or uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's difficult to carry. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, overall, this console took around two to three days to arrive at my house um, for me to start reviewing it. Uh, pretty quick actually, uh, considering I do live well in the middle of nowhere really. So uh, let's get on to the actual use of this console. Uh, I was able to set it up in around 5-10 to 10 minutes, didn't take long, very easy. Uh, all the steps were on screen. Um, yeah, so let's get into some of the gameplay which you can actually do with it. It has 4K abilities but unfortunately I don't have a 4K TV. But I do have a 1080p monitor which I'll be able to show you some of the gameplay of. Uh, one thing which I did forget to say is the actual weight of the Xbox itself. It's uh, a lot heavier um, compared to the standard Xbox I'd say it feels heavier. And also the Xbox One S it's a lot heavier than that. Uh, whether it's because of all the uh, stuff inside you know which helps it get to 4K maybe. Yeah, I don't know but it is very hefty. Uh, when turning it on, uh, the power button is just at the front there. To connect controllers, there's another button there, and there's one standard USB port. Uh, there's also some safety information over there, uh, which you can peel off because it's just a little sticker. And uh, there's also a button, uh, I'm not quite sure what it does. As for the startup of the Xbox here, I think it looks really cool. Uh, it's slightly different to the standard Xbox and the Xbox One S in the fact that it, it's got that bit of the start. Um, it looks really cool to be fair. Another good thing is I'm able to rest my monitor here uh, on top of the Xbox because it's got the side and the rear fans. Uh, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it in this light, but you should be able to see the side fan there. Okay, uh, that's one addition. Which are whereas on the standard Xbox and the Xbox One S, they are on top uh, on there. So you in real your Xbox might overheat or something. Uh, the game I'm going to be demoing is Fortnite Battle Royale. Um, just because it's a free game and it's easy to use. So you can see it produces a crisp clear image here. Like say that box up there. Uh, very nicely done. Uh, you can easily switch between menus. You know, no problem. Uh, really quick. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into a game and see how it handles inside the game. Uh, so while this while this game is loading, uh, one thing we could talk about is the price. Uh, the price currently is four hundred and fifty pounds if you're in the UK. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in dollars, but um, I think it might be around five hundred dollars. Um, whereas I think the standard Xbox uh, is now retailing between two hundred and three hundred pounds, and maybe the Xbox One S is around three hundred to three hundred and fifty. Uh, so now we're actually in the game, we can look around, no, I'm trying to do this one handed. Uh, really quick, I think it gives off 60 frames per second, uh, really crisp image as well. Uh, I would definitely recommend buying this console, um, because of its abilities that it can play in 4K. So if you do have a 4K TV, definitely buy this over 
say, um, the standard Xbox, PS4, PS4 Pro, Xbox One S, any of them, because it is worth that extra of £150, £100. It's definitely worth it. Um, the only fault, which I can see, is probably that there's only one HD, uh, USB port on the front there. Uh, which is a sort of a downside because say you want to play mouse and keyboard which you are actually able to do in Fortnite uh, you can only plug in either a mouse or a keyboard um, apart from that maybe the price just because it is quite steep but what you are getting is definitely worth it and I cannot really see any other fault with it it's a brilliant console handles perfectly um, don't can't see anything wrong. Uh, thank you for watching this. This is my video review on the Xbox One X.